Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Always VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform simple looking PowerPoint slide from this to this. So let's start. The first step is to enable the guides. Go to View tab and enable the guides. Go to Insert Shapes, select Rectangle and draw the rectangle. The height may be 1.6 and align center align middle make it no outline go to insert tab again shapes under the flow chart select flow chart manual operation make it no outline and give some different color rotate you can rotate flip vertical and bring it here again make it align center align just make it align center only and then I'm just going to cut this particular part from the rectangle select the rectangle and the other object under format go to merge shapes and say select subtract right mouse click go to format shape and we'll give some shadow effect which is something this shadow effect I'm giving the next one is go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle and maybe you can draw till this part you can make white outline and fill color you can just go to more fill and you can just select any color as you like and send to back I'm going to add the text on the rectangle I'll just type maybe option 1 or just I will just type 1 and just increase the size and make it bold then I'm going to give the animation effect for that one so first of all I'm just taking it up maybe till here and just reduce the size okay and then go to animation in the add animation go down and select the motion path which is line and it's going down but it's going too much down just drag this up maybe till this part it's okay and go to animation pane double click the animation timing make it fast and effect you can just give some bouncing effects maybe this much is okay and if you play it will show like this option one I'm going to just change the color of this go to format I'm just going to give some lighter colors or maybe a white color all right and then once this comes out uh, comes down I have to just uh, give the the title and the animation effect for that again I'm just going to add some text on the text box just type say for example option one and bring it here increase the size make it bold you can give the same color so that we have the color synchronization and in the animation just say appear this should appear you can just say with previous or after previous if you're saying with previous you have to just delay for few 0.5 seconds maybe so it will something like that the moment it comes and then the option one is appearing so similarly we'll do for this as well press ctrl d and i'm just bringing it here and this is the details so you can just give some gray color and reduce the size and this is your type your details here and make it center aligned so this also so if I play if you see here the moment it comes down the text are appearing now it's time to duplicate this select all 
and just bring it up maybe this position and press ctrl D bring it down this is my second option again press ctrl D this is my third option I'll just select all of these and I'll just maybe bring it here all right so this will work something like this one one and one so it's time to just change the colors so for this I'm just going to give some different color maybe green and for this I'm just going to give some maybe uh, blue all right and then you have to just change the from the position of the option one to option two but you cannot see that one for that I'm just going to hide for a while so go to home select and go to selection pane so if you see this is the shape I'll just hide this one I can just see two there now I will just increase the size and then I will change it to 2 and enable it back. The same thing I will hide this, make it 3 and just bring it back. Okay, so option 1, option 2 and option 3. I can just close the selection here. and then you just change to option 2 and this is option 3 and then you can change the color of uh, this one so it looks very simple uh, I'm just going to add some borders or so let's just go here select the rectangle and draw the rectangle and make it outline the gray outline and shape fill as no fill and then I'm going to give the heading for that I'm going to select one more rectangle and bring it here and you can give maybe some different color for this maybe dark blue and make it no outline and then I'm just going to cover these places with white go to shape select again a rectangle and just fill these places make it no outline and color to white the same thing goes here just bring this one here and then if you want you can just copy at the bottom as well so maybe I'm just going to make this much all right so if you just play this one it will something like this this you can send it back format send to back and now it will be something like this all right so if you see here this is what I did with some more color options so that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX see you soon with more interesting stuff till then have a nice day